Yes, uh, on one of the uh, YouTube videos, Chef Asim mentioned that uh, making dua after every uh, prayer is, is the innovation. Uh, recently, I was reading a book, uh, The Disease and the Cure by Ibn al uh, In In his book, he mentioned the six uh, prescribed times of response of, of the dua. And one of them he mentioned is supplication immediately upon completion of five obligatory prayers. Uh, does that, uh, I was wondering if I state a opinion on it. And, uh, does Clear. That, that, uh, this, <clears throat> because even Al-Qayyim means after completing the Salah and making Dua, or is it uh, Clear. Different? Clear. Jazakallah khair, Abu Yusuf. Good to hear your voice. <laughs> Uh, Sheikh Asim, I think uh, the brother is confused regarding uh, after the Salah or after you complete the Tashahud, uh, the opinion of Ibn al -Qaim. Okay. Yeah, please, if you can so, clarify so, that. Yeah. Brother Abu Yusuf from St. Louis, Missouri, was asking about the issue that many Muslims ask about. There is an authentic hadith in Sahih al-Imam Muslim that the most heard, responded, and answered dua are the ones in the middle of the night and at the end of the fard prayers. The translations that all the people have is after the fard prayers. And in the Arabic word is dubur as salawat al maktuba. No. And the scholars like Ibn Taymiyyah, Ibn Al Qayyim said that dubur, a thing, is from it, not after it. So duburu dabba is from the dabba itself, from the animal itself. Therefore, the translation is the cause of confusion. Now, never ever we had an incident where the companion said that the Prophet ﷺ, after every fart salah, used to raise his hands and say the dua, and as many of us do, wipe the, his face and wipe his body. What are you guys getting this from? Not only that, the Prophet himself advised us, if you guys want Allah to answer your dua, don't you? Of course. Why are we making dua after salat? So Allah would answer us. So I'll give you what the Prophet told us. The Prophet told us, number one, if you pray in your, if you make dua in your sujood, you're as closest as you can be to Allah Azza wa Jal, and it is going to be answered. Box one check. He said, after offering salutation at the end of the, uh, of the last rak'ah, choose whatever dua you want. And this is before salam. Check box two. This case, this is where you get your dua answered. Now, tell me, what is the reason for making dua after salat? Wallahi, most likely, so that I would not have to pay expiation. Wallahi, most likely, you are making dua because it's a cultural thing. Because everybody does it. So what the heck? Am I more the Roman than the Romans? Let's go with the flow. But if you want to follow the sunnah, do it in your sujood or do it before your salam. After salam, it's a place for dhikr. And some of the dhikr may contain dua, but it's prescribed by the Prophet salam. Not like we would do. Allah knows best. Well, uh, you know, they categorize dua into thana. Uh, with thana, yani, fi madhannat al-ijaba, aydan, yani. Uh, Correct. It's a dhikr. No, no.